What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, after 22 days of waiting, we now have the next Mac OS 12 beta, which is Monterey Beta 7. That's the update that we're talking about today. And for me, I'm using a developer beta. I'm a developer beta tester. And you can see that I've managed to find the update. If you are a public beta tester and you are also waiting for the full installer, just wait as this video comes a day late so it could be out sometime later today in about four hours or it could be out the following day depends when apple wants to release this but you can see the update size for me that on my 2016 uh, macbook pro here it came in at exactly 2.36 gigs and i was updating from mac os 12 beta 6. now obviously this is not all that apple released let me show you some other updates as you can see this is the apple developer page and you can see that they released mac os 12 beta 7 they released shareplay development and also ios 15.1 beta 1 ipad os 15.1 beta 1 watch os 8.1 beta 1 and finally tvos 15.1 beta 1 these are some of the updates that came out and i've covered some of these like ios and watch os so if this is something that interests you then a sub to the channel will keep you up to date with most of these software updates from apple now i've already updated my mark here like i showed you so if i go into the about this mark section you can see the new build number that we have here and it's 21a 5522h and coming from beta 6 which had a build number that ended with a j so we jumped from a j to an h which is about two steps in the positive direction it's not a big major jump but it is a positive jump that's worth mentioning since you know these updates can sometimes even go in reverse now in terms of the storage being taken up by mac os or the system storage you can see that the system storage is taken up exactly 16.58 gigs which is you know average according to most of the updates that i've been i've done in the past now when it comes to new features and changes i want to show you a new um screen that has been posted by quite a number of people actually over on twitter so this is how the screen looks and it's like a, a hello screen saver and it has an audio that plays in the background or just silence it like this but it's almost similar to what you see when you're setting up your device for the first time on ios 15 and it seems like to i'm not sure what language this is and i don't think there's an english um letter that's written but it seems to me like when you are setting up mac os 12 beta 7 and you take long at the setup screen you might see this new hello screen saver or setup but i'm not sure why i didn't get this perhaps i moved a little bit too quick now that is the first change you can always check it out once you update i didn't see this myself and then also if we go to the mac os uh mac os monterey beta 7 release note you will see that when it comes to new features and changes rather you won't see like any new features and changes apple mentioned a number of resolved issues and also a lot of known issues just to give you like a quick summary this update has about 20 issues that were mentioned and also about three issues that were resolved so not a ton of new features and changes it's more of a bug fix and stability fix update but there's also another change that came with mac os 12 if you connect an external peripheral device like a keyboard that isn't made from apple so for me if i go to my bluetooth section here you see that i have the magic keyboard with numeric pad but if i connect a non-apple keyboard i believe i have one right here so let me just connect it so if i connect the uh, non-apple keyboard i got this pop up on my main monitor and you can see that we get a new plus screen that says keyboard setup assistant and then you can always continue and it will try to identify uh, the keyboard the one i just connected is from dell but this is something that has been there apparently from beta 6 and on beta 7 it's still there and i believe when the final release comes out this is something that you can always check out and once you unplug your keyboard like i just did the setup assistant just 
just disappears that's a change and also since we are here in system preferences when you open up system preferences and you look for sidecar you will notice that sidecar has been removed from the menu page of the system preferences and that has been moved inside display so if you want to uh, see sidecar you have to go into your display settings and that's where it is now located when it comes to some of the major issues or bugs that people have reported so far up to date some of those have to do with the calendar app so some people are seeing issues when it comes to like the calendar app synchronization and setting setting your reminders the notification and also some others are seeing like issues when it comes to a play or screen share to your mark and also over on twitter i believe i mentioned this on my twitter page so there's this user that mentioned uh his name is steve smith so you can see mac os 12 beta 7 check-in time and he noticed that the two bar icon size has been fixed and also two bar separator not fixed and he lists quite a number of things that were not fixed and basically not a ton of new features it has more bugs or issues that are known than resolved issues with this update so that brings us to uh, the question of performance so when it comes to mac os 12 beta 7 i actually did a geekbench score to see how good this update is performing and when it comes to cpu i got a score of 647 and for multi-core i got a score of 2080 2888 when it comes to gpu or compute performance i also ran geekbench scores just to see how good this update performs i use geekbench 5 for mac to test these geekbench scores and i make sure nothing else is running in the background besides the screen recording and geekbench and for gpu i got a score of 17,000. 633 and according to my previous test this is slightly below average so hopefully apple can sort out some of these bugs and issues that are affecting performance now when it comes to when we can expect the next mac os 12 beta 8 update since i believe we still have about three more betas before we can talk about you know a final release of gm or rc today is actually september 22nd and I would like to believe that at this time we're still on a two-week release cycle. So I would expect a beta 8 at least on October 6th. And then if what people are saying according to rumors, we might have an Apple announcement on October 4th. If that happens, then this update will be coming out on the 13th of October. But then if that does not happen and we end up having a release like what we had uh, last year, last year what happened was the apple event took place on november the 10th and on the 12th of november we actually had mac os big Sur released to the public so it could be sometime anytime you know somewhere between mid october to the early november first half of november so it's still a rough estimate and apple hasn't said anything yet officially but that's my rough estimate sometime between the second half of october to the first half of november now other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video